Hi, this is Kirby Meister 2, and today I would like to talk about my favorite games from 2016. Yay! Now, before I talk about my favorite games of last year, I would like to apologize um, for how late this video has been. Um, the start of this month has really been bad. I got sick for at least two weeks, and um, the weather over at my place has been bad. We've been getting hit by a lot of rainstorms and stuff, so it's kind of been hard to track a day um, for recording. Anyways, let's begin with um, my favorite games of 2016. Yeah! A few uh, things to keep in note. Um, this won't be a list of my favorite games. Um, so any of the games in this video, they won't be numbered. Um, this will be more about my thoughts of a few games that I thought were pretty good and pretty fun in this year. I don't want to be too obvious in this video, so um, first and foremost, um, there will be no Overwatch. Um, to me, it seems like a pretty overhyped game. Um, I know a lot of people put it on its list, but for the sake of not being predictable and in line with other uh, reviewers, I will not put Overwatch in this video. I know that will upset a lot of people that really enjoyed the game, but I won't put it on this list. Um, that, um, and also, I didn't even play the game, so um, who knows, it might be good might not, but I'm not going to be putting in this, um, I'm not going to be putting it in this list because, yeah, uh, this is my personal favorite, not, um, my list of what everybody else thought was their favorite, so, yeah. Also, um, in the line of not being, uh, too predictable, um, Kirby Robobot will also not be on this list. Um, I'm a Kirby... It is known that I'm a Kirby fan, so, um... Yeah, this was my decision of not putting the game in the video of not being too obvious. Um, so, um... Yeah, that's about it. Uh, those are the two games that won't be in this video. Yeah. So, let's begin. So the first game I'll be talking about is Uncharted 4. Um, so, funny story. Um, I really wanted to get away from Uncharted 4. Uh, reason behind that was I thought Uncharted 3 was a good finale for the series. So, um, when I was seeing news and articles about Uncharted 4 uh, coming this year for the PS4, I tried to get away from it. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> um, first of all, the game looks great on the PS4. The varmints, as usual, are the best thing about the game series, as well as the characters. Uh, it was also nice to see Nathan Drake for his last hurrah um, before he would really retire the... Um, from his job of uh, treasure seek, from uh, treasure seeking, <laughs> sorry, um, and um, the way that it was, uh, um, basically the story was that um, Sam, uh, Nathan Drake's uh, long lost thought dead brother, has come back from the grave um, to have uh, Nate do one uh, last hurrah in trying to find this uh, treasure from a, uh, I think it was like a pirate lord or something. Um, no, not pirate lord, a uh, pirate captain, um, which escalates them in finding um, this pretty um, interesting place. Uh, oh, let's see how, it's like an island of uh, pirates and stuff. So, um, yeah, it was great. Um, 
If there was one thing to say about the game, it's more like a wall climbing simulator 2016. The game had a lot of wall climbing, um, even more than compared to the other uh, games. Um, yeah, it consumes most of the game that it, um, there was less um, shooting in this game, like a lot of less uh, stealth and shooting moments in the game. and. Um, there were some good puzzles, but it didn't compare to the other entries in the game. Um, it, puzzles in this game were, yeah, um, but it was good to see the cast from. Um, it, <laughs> it was good to see the cast again. Um, Nate's back. Um, Elena's back, and I think she's finally married to Nathan, so that's, that's a good, um, it's also good to see, uh, Sully back, um, for the time that he has, and it's, um, as a character, I didn't feel that much for, um, Sam, like, he was just in and out, just to be the excuse of the story, um, so that Nate could have one last adventure, um, Let's see, uh, Rafe, um, who's the villain in this one, he's okay, he doesn't compare to any of the other villains, um, I thought, um, that one woman, um, from Uncharted 3 was a little bit better, um, speaking about, um, British people and stuff, yeah, of course, um, there was, uh, Rafe's, uh, sidekick, um, I forgot her name, but, um, she was pretty cool, um, she's this, um, British African Amer- this African American with a British- British- <laughs> sorry if I pronounced that wrong- uh, with British, um, accent, um, she was- oh god, um, every time, uh, she was on the screen, she was really badass, so it was nice to see that, um, her in that- as with most of the Uncharted uh, games, there's also multiplayer, and it's alright, it does um, do what it needs to do, it's just an addition. Um, I didn't really think much of the multiplayer, um, but overall, this game was one of my favorites of... No. <laughs> But overall, I did um, find Uncharted 4 one of um, my favorite games of last year. And um, if you have a PS4 or are into getting a PS4, this is one of the games. So the next game I'll be talking about in this video is uh, King of Fighters 14. I've never played any of the games, um, but when I did put, uh, see this, game for the first time with its trailers of characters. Oh god, I wanted to get this one. Um, this game has a huge <laughs> cast of um, fighters um, that <coughs> I can't really name them all. Um, one of my favorite characters was this guy that had um, this huge um, halo. I think it was from uh, Team China. Um, it was a fun. No, it was really fun using this character, especially on online multiplayer, which um, of course I did get into that. Um, there was this other character that was kind of like um, uh, it, it starts with a G. He uh, was kind of like. Um, this other, uh, this ninja from uh, Naruto, uh, he kind of uses a sand manipulation, but he was pretty cool. And then, um, oh god, uh, there's this other fighter that uses um, a ball and ch chain to attack his enemies, and <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, there's <coughs> um, this huge fighting, um, no. This huge roster has a lot of great characters to choose from. 
having their own um, styles. And it's pretty interesting that this game has uh, three versus three in um, it. It's kind of a rare thing to have. Um, and it's kind of one of the most unspoken roles of fighter games. But uh, King of Fighters does well with um, three versus three as well as one versus one. Um, there is bit of a story in this game um, which makes up as more of a glorified arcade mode. It's just um, this one guy um, claims to be the king of fighters and uh, he just has everyone from all these teams just fighting each other so that they can face him and so that's about it. It's as standard as it can get. With the story um but um overall the game is really fun with its huge roster of uh fun characters to play um definitely give that uh definitely give this game a look at um if you can if you're really into fighters um so this next game i'll be talking about is kind of a cheat um it didn't really release here in the West, Bob be talking about it, and so that is Dead or Alive Extreme um, Three. Oh no, no, no! So what I liked about this game is that it was pretty fun with the volleyball sections. Um, there were some also other. <laughs> um, the other modes were pretty fun. There was um, Bud Battle. Um, pole skipping, uh, rock climbing, and uh, tug of war. The game was fun for what it was worth. Um, it was more of one of those relaxing games where um, it's kind of boring uh, just playing it for long hours, but it's um, good to play in short bursts while waiting uh, to do like um, laundry and stuff. Um, and the only really problem that um, I didn't like about the game, um, despite um, what others would say that they would hate, was more on um, how the game had this uh, manager thing where, um, where the game had a lot of missions to do and that made the game a lot, um, grind, a lot grindier. Um, because some of the missions would be <clears throat> for um for the character while and some of the missions would be for the manager and it was kind of annoying because some of the missions required um to buy um suits even though uh players themselves would need that money in order to get uh better suits but it it was kind of a mess on that front. Um, that's far as far as I what I didn't like about that game. Um, but despite um, that and a few other things, I won't be talking about. Yes, I'll be evading that controversy. I did find this game pretty fun, um, despite what others might say. So yeah, on to the Nintendo side of their games is um, Phoenix Wright, Spirit of Justice. It's really nice to see Apollo Justice um, finally gets the character development he deserves. Um, when it came to his first game, uh, a lot of players thought that Apollo Justice was just this lesser version of uh, Phoenix Wright. Um, when it came to Dual Destinies, he he got a lot he got a little bit more character development um and it kind of showed like he was becoming this mature but he wasn't there yet uh in this game he's become fully matured um he's become more of a respectful character in the, the phoenix Wright series and then um we just finally got to see uh, Maya Fagan, um, 
We haven't seen her since, like, <laughs> Ace Attorney Investigations, and that was only a cameo. Um, the story is really good. Um, it revolves um, around this um, gameplay mechanic that's called Seance Dance, um, which ha has the ability to, uh, to see into um, people's final moments before they die. And this thing was so um, popular and so um, necessary since um, it was always um, available for courts just to determine the murder, um, which led um, to the ban of attorneys. And uh, Phoenix Wright comes back, um, well, no, he doesn't come back. Um, he goes to this country that um, has um, believes in this Sion stance, and when um, he tries to defend um, this one person that's been accused of murder, uh, things start hitting the rail like he um, not only meets uh, Maya, but he tries to defend all these uh, characters that are being declared uh, guilty through this whole thing, and he has to prove that um, how uh, contradictory these things are, and it it's really intense. <coughs> Overall, the st story was great, um, and the characters are really great, and it's one of the um, best games of last year because of that. So another, um, no. so another Nintendo game I really enjoyed uh, last year was Pokemon Go. Oh man, um, I played this <laughs> game for months and I'm still playing it uh, till this day. Uh, it's really addictive. Uh, the base concept is just um, going around uh, town just collecting Pokemon. Um, and I had a huge blast um, walking around uh, with my friends as we were um, collecting and trying to find all these Pokemon. Um, the only bad thing I didn't like about this game it was um, the egg system and um, not all the Pokemon um, are in this game and they aren't still in this game like all the legendary um, but for what it was worth um, this game was really additive in the past year and it will still continue um, to be additive and fun for me. And to top off this video is a game that I played a lot and I really enjoyed and that is Monster Hunter X also known as Monster Hunter Generations. It was a real blast to hunt uh, old and new monsters from the series. Um, Rapalos, um, Petku, or Kuko. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It was really neat to go back um, to old um, areas of the series that were revamped in a way. Um, and the best part of this game is, of course, the online community that it had is a huge help. Um, there will be times when um, the community will be a little bit sour, but it, if player, if you find the right uh, group of players, um, the game will be enjoyably fun. And of course what makes this game so addicting is also the uh, different um, modes of attacks with um, each weapon, like the long sword and the bow gun, um, and it's always that game of predicting and analyzing um, monster movements in order to win. That that's always been the um, best thing about this series. So yeah, I I can't <laughs> recommend um, Monster Hunter X slash Generations enough. 
Um, yeah. If you viewers have uh, any favorites of the last year, um, comments below and yeah, if you liked this video, uh, give it a like and stuff. And um, I will see you guys later. Yeah.